We're continuing our study of John's Gospel, chapter 4, and we are looking at the whole idea of sharing the gospel with somebody else. And we are looking at Jesus as our pattern. And in this conversation he's having with the woman at the well, there's so much to learn. So John chapter 4, verse 10, Jesus answered and said to her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. At the beginning of their conversation, Jesus was the one who asked for the water. And the water he asked for was the water from the well. Water from the well is still, and it's still most of the time. And Jesus says, if you knew who I was, you would have made a counter offer, or you would actually have made the first offer. You would have asked me to give you living water. So Jesus says, I'm asking for what you have so that I can give you what I have. There's going to be an exchange here. So what do we learn from this conversation? That Jesus offers to us far more and far better quality than what he asks from us. So when God asks something from us to give him something, we have to look at his nature. Jesus says, if you knew who I was, you would have taken advantage of my, my offer and, and asked for something better. So he's asking for something, but he's ready to give us something better. And that's what we have to learn about God, that when he says, give me something, he's ready to give you something better. You cannot beat God in giving. So he says, give me your water and I'll give you my water. Now, so what's the difference between the well water and the living water? Well water is water in one place. Remember, Jacob's well, where the woman is fetching the water, is about 1,800 years old. It's quite an old well. That's all they had in the village. And that's all they've been drinking. It's water that does not move. It's stale water. Jesus says, what I offer you is better than this. It is fresh water. It is flowing water. It is bubbly water. And if you ask me, I will give you something fresher, something bubbly, something better. And that is what the salvation message is all about. When we come to Jesus Christ, we give him what we have. And what we have is not the best life. It's, sometimes it's a still life, it's a stale life, it's a confused life, it's a troubled life, it's a worried life. But we give him our life. And then he gives us his life. And he gives us a life that is bubbly, that is effervescent. Uh, he calls it abundant life. And that's what he's offering to this uh, woman. And for each one of us, that is what Jesus offers to us. You give him your old life, your stale life, your confused life. And he gives you the peace which passes all understanding. But for us to receive what he has, we have to exchange what we have, lay down what we have, and ask him for something better. And the Christian life is about recognizing that what we have is not the best. That what God has for us in Christ is far better than the life that we have. And that when God says, give yourself to me, he's not going to make your life more boring. He's not going to make your life more uh, disappointing. If you give him your life, he will give you living water, freshness, abundance, bubbliness, life that flows, life that is qualitative, life that has a meaning and that has a purpose. Are you ready to exchange what you have for what Jesus has? And if you're ready, you can ask him to take your life as it is and give you his life that is far better than what you have. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, open the heart of people everywhere to your gift of salvation. Give our world a thirst for God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, may you yearn for him. And if you know him, then may you share him confidently 
with the rest of the world. I'll catch you again tomorrow. And Pastor Mensah Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you.